Hi. So, uh, today we will uh, discuss some uh, tutorial on MapReduce. Already we have uh, discussed on MapReduce. So, today we will uh, try to solve one or two uh, problems or rather try to see how one or two uh, how, how we can uh, decompose a problem into a MapReduce uh, problem and how to work on it. So, if you remember that uh, the a MapReduce uh, paradigm is uh, is uh, used for for processing huge volume of data where parallelization is possible and primarily uh, rather developed by Google and uh, later on used in various fields. So, what we will do we will initially couple of slides we will have a quick recap before we take up one or two problems related to this uh, map reduce framework. Okay. So, as we discussed already, so it is a programming model developed at Google, right? Uh, implement large scale search, primarily the basic objective was to implement large scale search, text processing on massively scalable web data uh, using uh, data stored using big table and GFS distributed file system, Google file system and big data, big table. So, this was the uh, objective of Google which it started with. So, design for processing and generating large volume of data by a massively parallel computation utilizes utilizing tens and thousands of processor at a time. Right? So, there are huge number of processors to the tune of tens and thousands. So, whether if there is inherent parallelisms inside the things whether I can exp exploit it into the thing. So, the it is uh, it uh, is um, designed to be fault tolerant that means ensure progress of the computation even if the processor or network fails. So, it should be fault tolerant to the extent that even there is a failure in the processors or the network it will still the working should go on. So, that was that was the basic uh, uh, assumption or basic uh, I say precondition of doing this or that was basically this uh, what they was taken up right. So, uh, there are uh, several things like Hadoop. Uh, open source implementation of Madrid use uh, incidentally it was developed by Yahoo available on pre-packaged AMIs on Amazon EC2 and so and so forth. So, if we look at uh, apart from its uh, history, so it is a parallel programming abstraction right uh, used by many different parallel applications which carry out large scale computation involving thousands of processors. It is uh, again as we have to think the under underlining fault tolerant uh, implementation both on the data side and on processor and network side right. So, everything is fault tolerant uh, divided into two phases one is a map phase. So, mapping the so the given a problem I divide into two phases. So, it is mapped into a uh, intermediate result and reduced to a uh, again the reduce function or reduce phase reduce those uh, intermediate result to the actual result right. So, in doing, doing so what we have seen in our earlier uh, lecture or earlier discussion on map reduce that we can have parallel efficiency uh, in in we can achieve substantial parallel efficiency when we are dealing with a large volume of data and there is inherent parallelism uh, into the process right. So, what we look at there are m number of mapper processor and n number of reduer processors which are assigned work uh, based on the problem right. So, there is a master uh, controller m mapper processor and say uh, r number of reducer processors which work on that right. And in some cases this mapper and reducer uh, processor can share the same physical infrastructure right. So, that means uh, sometimes they acting as a mapper and at a later stage acting as a reducer type of things. So, it is a it is uh, it is a our uh, uh, capability of the uh, developer. Uh, or it is uh, that how you devise this mapping and map and reduce functions right. Implementation also based on that whatever that uh, language the developer working on may be there are lot of uh, work means, means people are working on python it can be on C++ and other type of coding things. So, that that coding part is based on that what sort of problem and what is the environment you are working on, but primarily physiology there are a m number of mapper and a set of reducer uh, you have intermediate results into the thing right. So, as as we discussed earlier uh, that e map phase each mapper reads one mth 
of the input from the global file system right using local uh, using locations given by the master so master controller the controller of the master node says that these are the chunks you need to read right so map function consists of a transformation from one key value pair to another key value pair like here i have a k1 v1 map to k2 v2 right each mapper writes computational results of one file per reducer so it's it's prepare typically if there are uh, r reducer so it prepares result for one file per reducer if there is one reducer so one file that it creates a file for reducer files are stored in a key and stored in a local by a key sorted by a key and stored in a local file system right so that is a local file system where the output of the mapper are stored the master keeps track of the location of this file the master has the tracking of the thing on the reducer phase or the reduce phase the master informs the reducer where the partial computation because the mapper has done a partial computation of the whole process have been stored on the local file system uh, for respective mappers so for if there are uh, m mappers for the respective mappers where the local where the files are stored for that particular reducer reducer make remote procedure call request the mapper to face the files each reducer groups the re, groups the results of the map step using the same key and performs a function some function f and list of values corresponding to these values that means if i have as you as k2 v2 then i map it to some k2 and function of of that v2 so it, the function may be uh, as simple as averaging so maybe uh, frequency or the count or some complex function of doing some more operations right so results are written back to the google file system so the results are written back to the google file system so the google file system takes care of them so map reduce example so there are three mappers two reducers map function uh, is in this case as as we uh, as if you remember or if you look at the previous uh, our previous lecture and discussion so that was a, a there is a uh, huge volume of word and what we want to do a word count right so the every mapper has a has a chunk of the uh, data things like this mapper has d1 d2 d3 and this is d4 d7 d8 etc so every mapper does a partial count of the word like and uh, for w1 w2 w3 and so and so forth and there are two reducers so it creates file for both the reducer and so the reducer 1 is responsible for w1 and w2 where the reducer 2 is for w3 and w4 and we do a word count on the thing right so there is a mapping function where this is done and there is a reducing function where it is basically the function is for summation of this count for every word w1 so that is dividing this word count problem into a map reduce problem and last uh, talk or last lecture we have shown that this can give parallel efficiency in the system right so uh, we now look at a uh, couple of uh, problems so this is not exactly map reduce problem just to uh, go for hadoop for hadoop file system or gfs google file system so if the block size is 64 MB if you remember these file systems are larger chunk block size than our natural file system and another thing was that there is a three replica of the uh, of every uh, instance of the data. So, there is a three replica where which allows you to have a uh, fault tolerant mode. So, based on that there are read write operations are done. So, in this uh, particular thing if we if we say if there are uh, if the HDFS block size uh, is 64 MB, then we want to find out if there are three files of 64 K, 65 MB, KB MB, and 127 MB. So, how many uh, blocks will be created by the HDFS framework, right? So, for the 64 KB, how many block one will be created, right? And 65 MB, we have 
2 because 60 up to 64 mb 1 and 127 mb also 2. So, total 5, but in reality as there are replicas like we have uh, replicas. So, that is typically 3 replica. So, effective block size will be 5 into 3 equal to this blocks. Right. So, very straightforward nothing nothing uh, complex no complexity in it. Right. So, if I have different type of things, so we can calculate this uh, straightforward. Right. So, again nothing to do with immediately nothing to do with map reduce, but nevertheless it is the, the data is stored in either HDFS or if it is a open source or in uh, GFS if it is Google file system and it it need to be uh, this data size or the storage need to be budgeted when you are working with large data set that how much storage you require uh, how much storage you require to work on this type of uh, data sets right now uh, let us uh, see one uh, problem on very again very straightforward problem on uh, map reduce framework so whether uh, we can have this map reduce framework though again uh, we may not very much appreciate directly because of this uh, simplicity of the problem but to understand the map reduce uh, framework it is it may be good so want to write the pseudo codes in or codes in any any uh, language that where uh, there are uh, what i what we want to do calculate the average of a set of integers in map reduce so a set of integers being uh, pumped into the system it may be a direct input from the uh, keyboard or something and uh, so we want to find out the average of the set of integer in other sense in this typical case i have set of integer a as uh, 10 20 30 40 50 right so set of integers uh, are there so, want to make a average. So, in other sense we want to basically sum it up and uh, divide by uh, the cardinality. So, totally divide by 5. So, in this case what we do with the master node uh, say we consider there are 3 mapper right. So, there are mapper nodes we consider as 3 numbers and uh, reducer say one number right. So, the what the do in the master node what it does for this mapper it divides into say m 1, m 2, m 3 right 3 mapper node. So, a portion of this data right say it gives 10, 20 to the first one 30, 40 and 50. So, each mapper does a partial uh, counting of the things right, it does a averaging of these uh, two things right. So, it is something which comes up as uh, I can say average and count. So, first one is 15 2, then this is 35 cardinality is 2 and this is 51. In other sense it in the temporary local file system is to store 15 to 35 to what basically the output of the mapper right it does by the uh, combiner. So, this is the map functions wants to uh, achieve right. On the reduce reduce is primarily is this one reducer it takes all the things and uh, it does a averaging of the things or more uh, this averaging of the whole thing. So, in other sense what it does say 15 start 2 here 35 start 2 and 50 star 1 in other sense a sigma sum is 150 sigma count is 5. So, it says 150 by 5 or 30 or uh, it is basically 15 star 2 plus 35 star 2 uh,
right? so that the exactly does. so that it it uh, as the problem is pretty straightforward or simple you may not uh, find uh, that what is the big deal here may not if the if the number of things is pretty high coming as a stream and then i can basically uh, do uh, parallel things right these these are parallelly processed and this is reduced by the one particular reducer right so if we write the code for it so you can use any language to do that here uh, um, uh, here it we are using uh, say python or python type language it is the language is does not matter the representation you can do in a, any pseudo code and type of things. So, uh, so we have that mapper function or say mapper dot pi. So, it is something python type. Uh, so, we are not much uh, giving importance to the syntax rather we are more giving uh, importance to the uh, concept. So, def map. So, l is the list. So, what we do we initialize a sum equal to 0 right for i in range 0 to length of l okay. sum equal to sum plus. So, every mapper does this right every mapper what it does it takes that chunk of data which is being allocated to it for uh, by the master node and then for the in our cases how many data is there <laughs> mapper 1 has 2 data mapper 2 has 2 data mapper 3 m3 has 1 data so it is uh, 2 to each so for every mapper we run this so we uh, the it average sum by length of l in this case 2 it should be uh, like this sum by length of 2 okay or in other more more strictly speaking we should have uh, to have a floating point difference uh, floating point uh, divide because this is a otherwise there may be integer division so we can ideally give sum star 1.0 divided by length of length of l so length of l in this case 2 right and then we output this uh, let us use print function output this to the local file system right so there can be this command wise it may be different if you are using different uh, programming paradigm length so the mapper basically emit this data so, it is stored in the local file system. So, what we are doing? We are for every mapper, we are reading a list of data which is being assigned by its master node, making that sum, initializing the sum uh, to value. Then, we are what we are doing for i for in the loop. So, calculating the sum, making a average out of it, rather, uh, this is this is nothing but to make it float uh, division and then uh, it is emitting or uh, dumping that value into the local file systems which the reducer will uh, read it right. So, this is the uh, mapper portion of the thing. So, if we look at the reducer portion. So, what we have def reduce. So, what it reads? So, whatever the mapper has dumped into the thing. So, if you look at it is giving this uh, average value and the length of the thing right. Here also we read that uh, particular thing sum equal to
so here for i in range of 0 length of L So, it is what it is doing uh, if you if we look at our uh, previous uh, thing. So, what it is doing it is basically trying to calculate uh, this sort of values. Right. So, count also equal to count plus length of i. So, finally, what we get uh, average again sum to make it float just multiply this or you can basically type cast also count right and then print average so, what it is reducer is doing taking this local file system as there are only one reducer. So, it takes all the values and for all uh, the data it goes on summing up the uh, that uh, output from the each mapper in this case there are 3. So, it is it is coming to be 15 into 2 plus 35 into 2 plus 50 into 1 divided by count which is in here 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5. So, and it calculates the average value and then it uh, again writes writes the average value to the uh, Google file system or Hadoop file system based on the whatever the requirement is this right. So, here this is again though this may be a uh, straightforward simple thing, but we see that I can divide a problem as there are inherent parallelism like there are I, I could have like in order to do a averaging I have do uh, I have taken a chunk of data and that we try to solve it using a map reduce framework. So, it is a if there is a huge volume of data then the mapper uh, a that the master node divides accordingly and do the partial computation and the reducer read it form and do the final computation. Okay. So, this is this is again uh, a uh, simple example of a map reduce uh, framework. So, next uh, we see another problem right. So, what it says I uh, want to compute the total and average salary of organization x y z some organization group by the gender right uh, using map reduce. So, input is name uh, gender and uh, the salary of the thing right. In this case say name is John, gender is M or male and salary is something 10,000 unit maybe 10,000 dollar or something. And the next one is uh, Martha, uh, gender is F and the salary is something 15,000 right. So, what we want to do? We want to find out that male wise uh, like gender wise in this case male and female that what is the uh, your total and average salary uh, anyway that total divided by the cardinality will be the average salary of the things. So, the output will be like in that uh, form. So, what we try to look at whether we can uh, employ map reduce uh, problem to look into the this uh, particular uh, problem. Okay. So, let us look at it. So, what we are having we are having uh, this uh, tuple like this name gender and salary right. So, this is the tuple. So, if I uh, so what we want to do uh, in the math phase. So, uh, want to if the input data whatever the input whatever the input data set is there there are different set of uh, input data set. So, what we want to do we want to 
extract only because we are not bothered about the gender a eh, bothered about the name of the person or that is not required in the uh, so in the salary so we want to calculate from there this two thing let us say aim the salary so respective and right so want to do type of uh, this type of things or i can i can have uh, a key value pair right key is this this male or female and value is the salary of the thing or we can say that we have uh, two sort of uh, um, uh, dictionary structure which is having a key value pair and then having say I say this is uh, D i c t 1, D i c t 2 and these two type of uh, key value pair and uh, for every one I can have uh, D i c t 1 then maybe total and average for other one also d i c t 2 i d may be so i d in this case is this particular male or female and then having total or average salary right so compute total average for the two separate uh, in say we consider there is a dictionary structure and the reducer basically does this thing right so want to see that how to uh, realize this. So, what uh, let us uh, look at the problem. So, I have a set of name, gender and uh, salary want to extract that uh, gender and the salary from every tuple. So, if I have multiple uh, um, mapper, so I, I extract those things and dump as a uh, particular uh, two type of dictionary type one is that uh, two type of uh, thing one is that what we have this uh, with aim and f and the uh, at the reducer part we calculate the uh, total and average salary of the things or any of the things so again uh, we look at as a uh, mapa dot p y or mapa dot some python type code. So, again I am uh, just uh, want to again repeat it that uh, you can do with any coding language which is uh, suitable for this and whatever we are doing may not be there may be some syntactical problem with the actual python thing, but it does not matter the conceptually you want to show that things works and then actual syntactical syntax need to be followed if you are really want to implement this right. So, so for uh, this is the thing for a line in sys dots std in what we are doing so what we are considering that it is uh, it is separated by a uh, by a comma so we are split is sorry it should be comma so, I now separate name equal to line 0 salary represent as SAL is line 2 right while uh, generating the or emitting the mapper phase the data into the local file system. So, we give print comma percentage d 
then so what we do gender and salary in other sense this uh, syntax you need to check up in other sense what we do we dump basically gender in the salary into the thing or uh, m and the uh, and the salary portion like uh, as you see we want to generate this m and the salary portion right and another thing is that either m or f and the salary portion right so in the reducer phase in the reducer phase what do we do that import so define that or call this ditorg that is dictionary class for line in this in what we do so what what it is reading it is reading basically that the gender or that uh, key value pair with the gender and the uh, value of the things or in other sense the gender and the salary values so i we, we don't have that uh, name into the things because the this particular query does not require the name of the thing right line of 1 so if this if so if it is already existing that means once you have read then d c t o r g So, what is our objective to basically sum up the salaries uh, by adding go on adding on the uh, salary values for the same gender type. So, already if it is already there that means, uh, so what that uh, now my uh, existing the reducer dictionary counting a key value pair. So, the if the key is already that gender is there or male and female male or female then I go on adding those things whenever I get if it is not there if it is else that means uh, this is basically the initialization thing this c t o r g so initialize with a blank thing so the first time when it is coming So, when first time it is coming that means there is a blank thing. So, if it is blank then it, it basically initialize then append the salary that means it is initialized with the uh, salary of the uh, thing. T i c t r g dot keys salary average equal to sum of T i c t o r g gender divided by length of 
DICTORG yield. So, it is summing of divided by things straightforward, right? And total salary equal to only sum of DICT ORG gender, right? And then we basically write back the thing from to the Google or GFS or the uh, HDFS file system. So, if we want to separate it by a comma or tab as the case may be. Again, maybe D if it is a integer or based on that if it is a float and all those things. So, we have this as gender dot cell and cell a v g right. So, uh, so that is the uh, what we do at the uh, at the final reduce surface. So, if we uh, try to just uh, quickly uh, have a look. So, what we are doing in the mapping function we have uh, three um, thing like name, gender and salary. Our objective is to the mapping function to so see this uh, all the mapper we like find out this individually this whether it is a which gender m and find keep this salaries along with that j m or f and salary and the reducer uh, will basically so that it exactly judge gender and salary and the reducer will basically uh, extract that intermediate result and calculate the average and the total right so here that that operation is there right so this is a typical python type i am not uh, strictly telling python because there may be some Mm, syntactical issue, but you can implement in anything, right? The idea is that I divide the problem into smaller parallel things by the mapper, and uh, then in the second phase, the reducer put it to another key value pair. So, key value from the input set to a set of key value pair, reducer takes that key value pair and put a function in this case average or total cell total of the things to a another set of key value pair and uh, finally, it goes to the uh, HDFA or GFS file system. Okay. So, what we try to look at uh, in today's uh, thing that uh, this map reduce functions is a simple problems how we can put it into map and reduce things that uh, this number of map parts available allow is basically availability of the resource and the how the master nodes uh, divide it and the number of reducers also based on that uh, what type of functional things you want to do. And uh, so, the master node is there which divides into m number of mapper and n number of reducer. The problem is the functionality of the uh, problem is divided into in such a way. So, that it divide it can execute it, it can be executed in two phases and we can have a parallel implementation of this sort of pathway. Okay. Thank you.